But the really interesting thing that no one saw coming is what is happening with the front camera. So they upgraded the camera from being able to take 12 megapixel photos to now taking 18 megapixel ones, but this is now a square camera sensor, which means you can take vertical selfies and you can take horizontal selfies no matter which way you're holding the phone up. This is so cool. The shots are wider than before, they're more detailed than before, and it also has center stage, which means the camera can automatically go out wider and follow you around when you're on a FaceTime call. It really does feel like after years of purposefully nerfing the base iPhones to keep the pros as attractive as possible, Apple's just decided that this year is the year that they rip the band-aid off entirely. Like apart from the missing telephoto camera, there is such little missing here that I think this is by far the best value phone in the lineup. Because the iPhone 17 now also charges faster than last generation 16. It has an extra eight hours of battery life if you're watching videos, at least according to Apple. It's got the new A19 chip, which doesn't feel like a mind-blowing upgrade, but still, you know, that's an extra 20% performance. And then in like the most un-Apple-like move ever, they upgraded the storage to 256 gigs from 128. And the moment they said that, I was so sure, like I'd already started writing that they were going to bump the price up to $899, but they didn't. This is the same $799 starting price as last year. Honestly, if I had bought an iPhone 16 at full price, I'd be crying right now.